Good evening, everyone. The sound you hear, other than my voice, <coughs> excuse me, in the moment is uh, my blinker. So I'm out on the road as I always am. What I want to address today, oh, first of all, if any of you were looking for my last video that you did see, and I got a few likes on that, by the way, much obliged for that, um, it was taken down. I violated community guidelines by talking about the CDC and whether or not you should take off your mask. That's up to each person, uh, in my opinion, to make a call on that. But anyways, so what I wanted to address here was this ever-growing population of people that are Christians who keep on relying on Trump to solve all their problems. I'm not saying that we shouldn't vote for him, so please do not understand uh, misunderstand me we have to stop relying on a man Trump is just a man he is not going to solve all of our problems and oh I was about to reach for my Bible to do my famous grab the Bible move um, but apparently it's in the house I forgot that I brought it in so the Bible's there for a reason it's it, to follow that Bible our answers are in there all of our answers are in there. So we cannot rely on man to solve our problems. I, I worry about the peace, so to speak, in the Middle East. That's, that's the foreshadowing of things to come. So be careful of what you're all excited about. He wants to hit a vaccine. He's promising a vaccine. To be honest with you, I'm hoping it's not 100% true. And I guess I should say I want it to be true in a certain way for those of an older generation who need it. I'm okay with that. But I don't want to see this turn to a mandate. Be very careful relying on Trump. I'm always wary. Now, I'm not saying I'm not voting for him. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. All I'm saying is stop putting all your eggs into this basket. Because your eggs are going to break that basket... With all that weight, and your eggs are going to splatter all over the place. There is only one, there is only one who will solve all the problems you've ever had. That's Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It's just that simple. It's just that easy. Now again, I'm going to anger Trump people because they're going to sit there and go, Wait, I thought you were a conservative. I am. I am. But I know what I can count on Trump for, and I know what Trump can't do. Trump can't save my soul. Remember, Trump is going to open every religion under the sun. He's going to open the door to even false religions. He's not going to do it on purpose. It's just going to happen that way. So I'm just saying be wary of what he's going to do. Don't get all excited on every single thing. Yes, we should be patriots, absolutely, of this country. I have no problem with that. But again, this country is not going to get me into heaven. Canada is not going to get me to heaven. Or whatever other country one can move to, it's not going to get me to heaven. So, I know I keep repeating myself, and people are going to say, Listen, you keep repeating yourself. I understand. What I'm trying to get across is count on no man. All men fail. Remember that. Except for the one who shed his blood for you. No fail there. None at all. So please, if you are a Christian, if you are saved, if you are born again, you want to vote for Trump? No problems. But don't think he's going to solve all your problems. Because even if he is elected, the unrest will not rest. Understand that. We'll have a different dynamic of violence in this country. It, he's not going to quell it all. But he is going to be a stopgap to when it's done. So thank you for tuning on to this, on to this video, into this video. Don't mean to be a downer, but folks, open that Bible up. If you're a Bible believer, open up that Bible. And if you haven't opened a Bible, you should already know, no man, no man on this earth.
except for one who shed his blood for us. Please remember that, especially if you're born again. If you're not, hey, please get saved, man. All you have to do is call upon him. That's it, man. Call upon him. Ask him for forgiveness. Help. Ask him to help you turn from your sins. I don't believe in the whole turn from your sins. Then you get to go to Jesus. No, he says come to you, come to him broken. So again, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. God bless. I love you. And have an awesome day.